and welcome once again to Pennsylvania. Just had a frog jump off in here. And if, been, if you've been following along with me, I am currently at a Gifford Pinchot State Park. We were at a cemetery earlier. This would be a beautiful place to kayak. There is someone out there kayaking. So I was at a cemetery just a couple of hours ago, but I've been uh, hanging out with some people. I think I explained in that previous video, kind of having like a before school starts picnic out here at the lake. I ended up in the lake willingly. I didn't get pushed in, but uh, so I'm gonna dry out a little bit on this hike. I'm kind of in the north western part of the park. I'm gonna hike the Beaver Creek Trail, which is just behind me. So let's get going. <laughs> I should might join up with the picnic again later if they're still there. All right, beautiful little spot though. Yeah, just one more look out there. There's a highway over there, so there's a little bit of noise, but lots of the kayaks and canoes. Anyway, let's get going. I think the trail starts just up here. Never hiked this trail here at Gifford Pincho. I have hiked the what they call the Lakeshore Trail several times. That goes all the way around the lake. these little side trails that take it back down to the lake. Let's see if we can sneak up on any critters this time. Not seeing anybody. Yeah, this would be a beautiful place to kayak, I think. I gotta remember this place. Because you can kayak out, out into like the, the all the, uh, I guess it's some of those are lily pads and the aquatic vegetation out there. All right. I'll check this little guy out. That is some kind of a, a shrew, I believe. Whoops, he's moving pretty fast there. I lost him. Oh, he's right under that branch there. He has some kind of a shrew. Still in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure what type of shrew that was. We have various different kinds. It could have been a vole as well, but... Looks like its snout was a little bit more pointed. That would be a shrew. Don't often see them above ground. They usually have little tunnels down the ground in the leaf litter that they build. So that's pretty cool to see one of them. Oh yeah, and when I said it was either a shrew or a vole, I meant V-O-L-E, not mole, as in O-M-O-L-E. Moles definitely live in the ground, but we have something called voles here in Pennsylvania as well, and in the, all throughout the United States. They're little mouse-like creatures as well, but with uh, stubbier snouts. I hear voices up ahead. Beautiful trail though. primordial looking swamp here. But there are some red flowers over there and you better know what kind those are. Give you a little bit till we get over there. I've been showing these a lot. Whoops, spider web. Uh, so same kind of spiders from that one video. Those spined spiders. Here we go. 
give you a moment or two. Once again, those are the cardinal flowers. Just one little splash of red there, but we'll take it. So there are a number of spice bush bushes along this trail. They do have some edible qualities to them, so I'm going to keep my eyes open for them. Of course, here's one right here. It's a spice bush. But they have separate male and female trees, or bushes, like some plants do. But this one doesn't have any berries on it. So this is the male. I'm going to find a female. But it's called spice bush because the leaves have a spicy taste and aroma to them. You can actually make a tea. I don't think I've ever actually tried that yet. Make a tea from the leaves, but the berries you can eat. Oh, here we go. Here's a female, because here are they. Here's one of the berries. Right there. So these are just little red berries. There's not much to them. They have one big hard seed in the middle. With very little flush around it. We can get that seed out. Yeah, there's the there's the big seed. Spit the flesh out too. It has a very uh, spicy taste to it. Not like a hot spicy taste, but if you cook with nutmeg and mace and stuff like that, and at all times the seeds are used for seasoning. People will ground the seeds up into a powder and use it in place of some of the seasonings I just mentioned. If you can think of the seasonings that are used during this time, during autumn, you know, like pumpkin spice seasoning, it's kind of like that. So you can collect the seeds, ground them up to a powder, and use it for seasoning. You know, here's another female bush, but these ones are still green. The berries on this one, you can see them there. You're gonna use them, wait till they turn red. It's like these right here are starting to just turn a reddish color a little bit. Of course, this is still only August. Today is like August 24th. Come September, those berries will be bright red. And there's not a whole lot of you know flesh on them to actually provide a meal if you're like starving, but I guess they would do something for you. So coming up soon, I do have another overnight trip planned. I'll be heading up into Potter and McKean counties in northern Pennsylvania. So today is today's Wednesday. That'll be Sunday and Monday I'm going to do that trip. So there will be a camping video that's involved with that. We'll be camping at Lyman Run State Park. I already booked my campsite. And we are visiting a number of state parks up there. and. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more of my county high points. Haven't done those for quite a while. It's just been an odd year for traveling. But we're going to try and get to the high points of Potter and McKean counties. And maybe another county because I don't have the I don't have the second day of the trip completely planned out yet. And there's a few other special places I plan on visiting that are up in those two counties. You can try and guess what they are several places I've been wanting to visit for a while and I've seen other people there so I'm gonna try and hit those places up so it should be a fun weekend if all goes well according to plan So it is peaceful back here. If you're if you're camping or just at Gifford Pinchot State Park here, any one trail that's a little bit away from everything, this would be the one to hike. Like I said, there is that lakeside trail, but it goes it goes through some busy areas. 
but you never fully get away from the sound of road traffic here either. But like I said, it's a bit more peaceful back here in this, in this section of the park. I think I already pointed this out in an earlier video, but you see the leaves are starting to fall already. I mean, this is only late August, but the process has already begun. Some leaves are already losing their leaves, or starting to. And soon you'll just be completely covered. And when I go on hikes, you'll be able to feel, uh, feel, <laughs> you'll be able to hear my feet shuffling through the leaves. I know some of you like to hear that. I love the smell of fallen leaves too. They kind of have this damp, earthy smell to them. Oh, there's our creek. I guess that's Beaver Creek. Since this trail is Beaver Creek Trail. Yeah, back at the beginning it was that big kind of lake marshy area, but now it's looking a bit more creek-like. And up here is a beautiful section of the creek. And you may see a splash of red up there. That would be the uh, cardinal flower. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Some people have been commenting too, like why are there no, no birds out in the woods? Well, they are out here in the woods. It's just, this is late August. I think I've explained this in another video. It's just, I call it the quiet time. You know, they're done mating and raising young and establishing territories. They're done with all that. And that's a lot of times why birds sing. It's for those reasons to attract a mate, to uh, set up territories, let other birds know that this is my place. And that's all done. Now they're out in the woods eating and feasting a lot of them because a lot of them are going to you know they're going to migrate come fall and so they're building up those energy reserves so they're kind of quiet doing that the birds they're out here they're just not they're, they're just not yapping as much as they do in spring and early summer so that's the way it is it's not that they're not out here they're just kind of they're just being quiet i think we are coming up to the end here soon Hearing a bit more road traffic. Yeah, I think this is the end. Of course, this is not a loop trail, so you gotta hike back the same way you came in. But I think it's only, it's less than two miles. It might be 1.2, 1.5 miles one way. So you gotta, if you're gonna hike this trail, you gotta take that into consideration too, because you gotta hike back. Unless you do the whole two vehicle thing where someone parked up here. Yep, come around the corner and here's here's the other end. Alright, so I've already turned around, but I'm getting hungry. So this looks like a nice place to sit. Take a little break. One of these logs. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end this video here. I have been sit down for a little bit, take a little break, eating eating a granola bar and stuff, but uh, I'm probably not going to film on the way back unless um, something cool shows up, but I'm probably going to hustle back a little bit faster than what I hiked in. I'm going to quick stop back at the lake, see if anybody's still there from the picnic time. But anyway, thanks for coming along, and like I said, if you do make it to Gifford Pinchot State Park here in York County, 
is a cool little trail to hike if you're looking to kind of get away from the main park area. As always, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you around.